Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss here uh, hyperbolic functions, and uh, this is a very important point on complex analysis, guys. Okay. So we discuss here uh, what is the hyperbolic function, and we also discuss here what is the circular and hyperbolic function means. We have to getting relation between circular and hyperbolic function is there, guys. Now let me start the hyperbolic function or what is the circular function. Now let's see. You know the Euler's formula is e to the power i theta equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. Also, if we replace i theta by minus i theta, then e to the power minus i theta equal to cos theta minus i sin theta. So that implies cos theta is e to the power i theta plus e to the power minus i theta divided by two, guys. Similarly, we have to also write sine theta. Means we have to adding this equation one and two. Means for example, this is equation number one for consideration. This is equation number two. If we have to adding this, means here one plus two, we have to getting this term, okay? And we have to taking one minus two, we have to getting this term, guys, okay? So we have to taking one minus two, we have to getting this term. That is a sine theta, guys. If z is a complex number, that is z in terms of x plus i y, where x is a real part y is imaginary part then we have to replace here theta by z is there means cos theta becomes e to the power i z plus e to the power minus i z divided by 2 and sin z becomes e to the power minus i z minus e to the power i z divided by 2 i so that is called as circular function guys okay so this is circular function and you have to derive the relation between circular and hyperbolic so hyperbolic it is nothing but you have to only write in terms of cos z so you have to write cos hz means in terms of sin z you have to write sin hz so z is a complex number guys then hyperbolic functions of z are given by sin hz is equal to right and cos hz is equal to okay sin z means trigonometric here and sin hz means hyperbolic so it is denoted by sin hz equal to e to the power z minus e to the power minus z divided by 2 guys and cos z is e to the power z plus e to the power minus z divided by 2 so obviously you have to also write what is a tan hz tan hz is nothing but sin hyperbolic hz divided by cos hyperbolic hz okay so therefore this can be written as e to the power z minus e to the power minus z divided by e to the power z plus e to the power minus z is there guys e to the power minus z is there guys okay so therefore also you have to also write about what is a cosec hyperbolic z that is a one upon sine hyperbolic z that is a reciprocal and sec hyperbolic z it is nothing but one upon cos hyperbolic z means cosec sec and also tan is a reciprocal of sine cos tan respectively guys okay so this is all about hyperbolic function now let me start what is the relation between circular and hyperbolic function so relation between first relation you have to write you have to write is suppose the sine of iz sine of iz is nothing but i into sine shz okay and also you have to write suppose sine hz this will get minus i sine hz okay now second one is what is that cos hz guys cos iz is equal to cos hz here we have to in cos there is a very easy i is replaced by only h is there and also tan can be written as tan iz can be written as i into tan hyperbolic z guys okay and if you have to write tan hyperbolic z you have to write minus i tan hyperbolic z guys minus i tan hyperbolic z is there so these are the relation and by using this relation we have to solve the hyperbolic function and it's a problem guys okay now let me start the problem number first of hyperbolic function okay let's see your question is if cos alpha into cos hyperbolic beta is equal to x by 2 and sin alpha into sin hyperbolic beta is equal to y by 2 then prove that sec alpha minus i beta plus sec of alpha plus i beta is equal to 4x divided by x square plus y square and number second we have to also prove sec alpha minus i beta minus sec of alpha plus i beta is equal to minus 4 i y upon x square plus y square guys x square plus y square and you have to prove this okay now let me start the lhs of first we have to start the first 
you have to solve the first is here guys okay in first sec of alpha minus i beta now let me start i am writing here sec of alpha minus i beta this can be written as guys this can be written as this is a one divided by you know that sec is a reciprocal of cos this is a cos of alpha minus i beta okay and also this can be written as this can be also written as this is a one upon cos alpha minus i beta so i am using the formula for cos of a minus b guys cos of a minus b so cos of a minus b since i am writing here cos of a minus b guys what is that here cos of a minus b that is a cos a cos b yes this is a minus here so here is a plus sin a sin b okay so this is a formula guys you have to use okay now let me write cos of uh, alpha minus i beta means what this is a cos alpha into cos i beta this is a cos alpha into cos i beta yes plus sin alpha into sin i beta sin i beta guys okay sin alpha into sin i beta okay now next we have to also solve there is this is one divided by guys one divided by cos alpha into cos i beta this can be written as this is a cos alpha into cos i beta it is nothing but cos of hyperbolic beta guys plus i into sin alpha as it is and we have to write sin i beta right sin i beta means instead of this sin i beta i am writing i sin hyperbolic beta so i is there this is a sin hyperbolic beta since we have to use here use here formally what is the formula cos of i beta is nothing but it is a cos hyperbolic beta and sin of i beta is nothing but i into sin hyperbolic beta you have to use this formula guys okay and therefore therefore the next step i am writing here this is one divided by guys one divided by what is the given given is cos alpha into cos beta we have to given x by 2 guys this is a cos alpha into cos beta we have to given x divided by 2 plus i into sin alpha sin beta we have to given here y divided by 2 so since i am taking a reason here so what is that these are the given you see in a given question guys you see in given question okay so this can be also written as this is one divided by guys means if you are to taking lcm on denominator this is x plus i y divided by 2 and this can be written as this is 2 upon guys x plus i y okay clear up to this okay now next thing now this is very important so here uh, we have to getting that here 2 upon x plus i y guys 2 upon x plus i y means this denominator in numerator taking guys now in this way this is 2 upon x plus i y guys okay this is a sec of alpha plus i beta also i am uh, simplifying this you have to getting here uh, rationalize the denominator so let's see uh, what is uh, there if rationalization of denominator means here so therefore clearly this is a sec of alpha minus i beta this will give one that is a 2 upon 2 upon x plus i y guys x plus i y now now rationalize the denominator if we rationalize the denominator this will get 2 upon x plus i y into x minus i y divided by guys x minus i y so what we will get here so this is 2 in bracket x minus i y divided by denominator is factors of x square minus i square y means it is a factors of x square minus i square into y square so this can be written as this is what this is a 2 into x minus i y divided by this is a x square minus i square means it is nothing but minus 1 so that will get plus 1 guys so into y is there into y square so this is what this is a sec of alpha minus i beta sec of alpha minus i beta guys okay for references we have to given this equation number one guys we have to given this equation number one now now you have to also find you have to also find sec of alpha plus i beta guys you have to also find sec of alpha plus i beta okay so how it will be find it is again a reciprocal of 
cos of alpha plus i beta guys so again reciprocal of cos of alpha plus i beta and you have to use here cos of alpha plus i beta formula so this can be written as this is again cos a cos b means again you have to write this is cos alpha into cos i beta minus sin alpha sin i beta guys okay so therefore we can write in the next step so this is one upon this is one upon this is a cos of alpha into cos i beta can be written as a cos of hyperbolic beta guys minus i into here sin alpha because of that i sin beta is i into sin hyperbolic beta so i am writing here this is a into sin hyperbolic beta so i am taking as a first is there guys okay so this is now in this way now again you have to give one so therefore therefore sec of alpha plus i beta this can be written as this is one divided by cos alpha and cos hyperbolic beta this is given by that is x divided by 2 minus i into here again value is given sin alpha sin beta y divided by 2 so therefore taking lcm on a denominator so that is x minus i y divided by 2 here guys so this can be written as 2 upon x minus i y also taking rationalize the denominator as 2 upon x minus i y right guys 2 upon x minus i y into into that is x plus i y guys and for cancellation i am taking in denominator again that is x plus i y so this will get this will get 2 into x plus i y divided by that is x square minus i square y square guys x square minus i square y square so that will becomes that will becomes so therefore therefore sec of alpha plus i beta it will becomes guys this is 2 in bracket x plus i y divided by here is x square i square is a minus 1 that's why x square plus y square for reference we have to getting here equation number 2 guys equation number two guys here okay so next we have to prove the lhs is what right we have to prove the lhs let's see so therefore therefore we already getting these two values means uh, this is a sec of alpha minus i beta is nothing but it is a two in bracket x minus i y divided by that is a x square plus y square is given to you guys this is equation number one i already solved this and it is a sec of alpha plus i beta guys this value is 2 into x plus i y divided by here x square plus y square called this is equation number two okay now now i am taking lhs of this equation guys i am taking lhs of this equation so therefore LHS, LHS, what is LHS? See guys, what is LHS? LHS is this sec of alpha minus i beta plus sec of alpha plus i beta. That is LHS. So, equation number 1 and 2. So, therefore, sec of alpha minus i beta plus sec of alpha plus i beta. So, it's a value from equation number 1 and 2. You have to put up in this way guys. So, x minus i y divided by x square plus y square plus 2 into x plus i y divided by x square plus y square guys and denominator is same so how it will be solved the lhs equal to that is a 2 in bracket x minus i y plus 2 in bracket x plus i y divided by totally x square plus y square guys so this can be simplified as that is a 2 into 2 into what is that here for lhs we are to taking here simply 1 plus 2 guys 1 plus 2 guys okay so that is a 2x minus 2iy plus 2x plus 2iy guys okay and divided by here x square plus y square so therefore there is 2iy minus 2iy get cancelled here and 2x plus 2x that is a 4x guys divided by here x square plus 
y square this is guys this is a lhs and that lhs equal to rhs that lhs is equal to rhs hence your first is a proving your first is prove now we have to second that you have to prove for second now i am taking the second here so second is what we prove again we prove again what is that this is a sec of alpha minus i beta right minus sec of alpha plus i beta that is equal to we have to prove here minus 4 i y divided by x square plus y square guys and you have to divide it by this x square plus y square so let me start the lhs so lhs guys this can be written as again sec of alpha minus i beta minus sec of alpha plus i beta so from equation number one and two you have to substitute here the values of lhs so alpha minus i beta is a two in bracket x minus i y divided by here x square plus y square minus here is a 2 in bracket x plus i y divided by what x square plus y square so simplified this simplified this we get lhs is equal to that is a 2 into x minus i y minus 2 into x plus i y and totally divided by here getting this here x square plus y square guys again we have to simplify this this is 2x right guys this is 2x minus 2 i y minus 2x minus and plus here that is a minus 2i y is there so plus 2x minus 2x get cancelled guys and remaining is what is that here x square plus y square so this is lhs now again lhs equal to what is the remaining that is a minus 4i y divided by x square plus y square again that is equal to guys this is a rhs okay hence hence first and second are proved hence first and second and proved okay so this is all about the example guys okay i hope do you understanding this very well thank you guys